Welcome back. In the previous episode we took the ferry from Spain to Plymouth. From where we started a new adventure in the UK. From down south the plan is to cycle up England and into Wales. Then back into England again and right north to Scotland. Where we'll finish in Edinburgh. I don't know if you can hear it and I don't know if you can see it but there's thunder in the sky. This region and the UK in itself is known for a lot of rainfall. So I just repacked all my stuff making sure that everything is packed very good and uh, rain gear on top i'm prepared so let's see how the cookie crumbles it feels like we've landed into a rainforest it's actually raining so look at it the sun is going down and i just wanted to show you a little bit because it's a gorgeous atmosphere that's like the advantage of the rain, you know, it's, it's gorgeous, but it's a little bit tough sometimes. And we have been drying up in this cafe because we were soaked, we were wet and we were really, really cold. And now we're going to find a camp spot, but luckily the rain almost stopped. All right. A potential spot. So we found this field over here. It's gorgeous with the clouds in the sky and all the colors. Yeah, let's check it out. We're going to cut across and then we have a beautiful area. Feeling out the situation like they do as well. We come in peace. We are vegetarian. This is their grazing grounds, and we are intruders here. They are curious, but they're also very big animals. Yeah. And probably they mean well, but if we trigger them in the wrong way, they might get hurt, we might get hurt. That's not what we want. So maybe we should. Leave them to their peace and find another place for ourselves. We are the cow whisperer. Oh, we are the cow whisperer. <laughs> this is amazing. I never have experienced this before. Alright, we have settled on another spot here in the woods. It's a little bit dark, so not very easy to film, not very interesting. So we're gonna leave it here, but this was a very interesting, intense day, like bicycle touring can be sometimes. What a strange meeting with these cows. <laughs> We've never had that before. We know they are curious, but they can also be a little bit dangerous if they feel threatened. So we decided to move on and um, yeah, enjoy the rest of the evening. I'm very Happy that it's not raining. Let's hope tomorrow it will be dry too. And uh, yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. These hills here in the UK, they're madness. Uh, the people were telling about these hills, and we were a little bit like, yeah, 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 we've climbed mountains before, you know, but. This is really a different cookie, guys. This is just, <laughs> it's really breaking us. They're really like going all the way down to the river and going back over this hill on the top of the hill and going back down to the river again. And the incline is like maybe 20% or something or maybe even more, but it's good. It's good to get out of your comfort zone, you know. It's the UK, what you gotta do. Man, the hills are relentless, steep gradients. I think Maudi already told you about it. But look at the view. And with the sun coming through, man, it's beautiful. Bah! <laughs> <laughs> and the sheep, we have some sheep here. We're communicating with the sheep. Are you rolling? Yeah, I mean, only this, this sign is in, in your head, so I have to be... Yeah, because I, I provide a quality dining. <laughs> yeah. We randomly ran to these two friends. We asked them 
they would have some live advice for us going forward. It's, it's funny you should say that because we were talking earlier, weren't we? It's like to, uh, we were saying, you know, it's good in life not to take it so serious. It's easy, man, to get involved with life too seriously and getting out of context of our, you know, how significant and small and short our lifetime is. I found that actually kind of breaking down the conditioning that you receive as a child and by by the conditioning what I mean is like uh, you know we're all kind of conditioned to think and to behave in certain ways uh, primarily from our parents and then our teachers and then society in general and uh, and so that causes us to kind of act unconsciously in, in different ways and so we can break free from that yeah, I think sometimes you've got to sort of like, you know, ponder sort of like the, you know, the universe or the rest of it because it does keep you, it does give you some perspective about, you know what I mean? Just enjoy life, you know, just enjoy your time you've got. Yeah, I mean, it basically stems from awareness and I think that comes from meditation. So having a daily meditation practice can help you to realise that. And so... The meditation practice allows you to be aware of your thoughts and your feelings and when you disidentify from that then you're not so attached to that conditioning if that makes sense yes yeah, yeah. we're now here in crediton and we rode past this beautiful looking church it's almost built like a fort very thick walls, it's 1100 years old and built as the main cathedral of Devon and Cornwall back in the days. The inside with the wooden roof and all these beautifully carved stones for the windows. Really a great example of the churches we see here in England. I think it's interesting in the way that it reminds me of this Lego, this night Lego. On top you see these cutouts and you almost see the bowman standing on top shooting down so they are probably protecting the church and maybe even the people when there is a war or something or a siege in that time there were a lot of wars here with the Vikings a lot of bloodshed also I like the color I never see the color here in the countryside before it's beautiful and also from the inside the detail man they put a lot of work in this building so I think it's a great example of a, of a big statement and very different than we see in the Netherlands of other places of Europe today is one of these days that everything is just all right the weather is nice with some clouds there is a big highway over there with a railway line going past we're here along this canal, Maud is chilling at the bench over my shoulder. Just splendidly average cycling after a couple of tough days on the bike. So uh, we're heading out to Bristol along this canal and it's interesting that the canal uh, was built and just when it was about to be finished uh, the railway line came to this area and it completely took over the canal system so immediately when it was finished it was redundant now it's a beautiful place for cycling people are hiking up and down cycling and uh, just enjoying uh, the waterside So we're now in Somerset and that's in the southwest coast of England. As you can see I'm now at the marina. It's a pretty touristy place. It's not very very interesting but it's just nice and relaxed cycling and we're really happy that the weather is on our side because there was a lot of rain in the forecast and we have a tailwind. Yeah we're heading our way up to Bristol and from there we're trying to 
hook on to the Great Britain Divide route. We hope to discover a little bit of Scotland too. Let's see, we have about seven to eight weeks, so plenty of time. now in the woods obviously and yeah I'm feeling so much better than like yesterday or the day before when we were cycling in these bigger urban areas pretty grimy somehow a lot of industry people in their own bubble and uh, your surroundings can influence your mood so much when you go out into the countryside or you know more in the villages people are generally much more open and willing to have a conversation and yeah that's really obvious while bicycle touring because you're constantly changing surroundings we're back in the hills again i'm really happy about that um, the coast was nice but i love the hills so much more so much more views and yeah a little bit of struggle i love it and um, we are finally into the groove of the cycling again it really really takes some Thing getting used to as always like getting back from your rhythm in a home like a steady routine and everything into a, like more intense kind of lifestyle different circumstances all the time but yeah we're now feeling quite fit again and we're sleeping well but yeah happy to be here and let's see what this uh, woods have to offer for us great to have you tag along on a new adventure if you want to help us out, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell. Join us next time when we explore the depths of Wales.